self-monitoring blood glucose. What are some of the measures available in managing diabetes? Hemoglobin A1c, HbA1c, is a standard tool used to determine the amount of blood glucose attached to red blood cells in your blood. The test is typically valid for a period of 3 months as that is the average lifespan of red blood cells. Your healthcare team will repeat your HbA1c every 3 to 6 months to monitor your progress. For people with normal HbA1c, one can see less glucose molecules, which are represented by the white cubes built up in the blood. Those with high HbA1c reading will have more glucose bound to the hemoglobin in the red blood cells. A high HbA1c indicates a high risk of developing diabetes complications. As recommended by the American Diabetes Association, a good HbA1c level in a person with diabetes will be between 6 and 7%. Both Sarah and Claire have a 3-month average HbA1c of 7.8%. Does that mean that their daily blood glucose control is the same? So, the question is, is HbA1c alone enough to monitor my diabetes condition and progress? Sarah's blood glucose level spikes to as high as 13 millimole per litre after a meal likely due to her high sugar diet and her lowest blood glucose level was at 3.5 millimole per litre. While Claire's blood glucose ranged from the highest at 8.5 millimoles per litre to the lowest at 5 millimoles per litre. So whose blood glucose level is better? Ideally, high blood glucose spikes and low blood glucose levels of less than 4 millimole per litre or 70 milligrams per deciliter are to be avoided. Although both ladies have HbA1c readings of 7.8%, HbA1c alone is unable to specifically reveal the highest and lowest points of their blood glucose levels. It is important to be able to specifically identify the highs and lows of your blood glucose level so that the appropriate and exact treatment can be recommended. Self-monitoring of capillary blood glucose is essential to manage diabetes. Self-monitoring blood glucose, as MBG for short, can be done using a glucometer with a tiny finger prick at the comfort of your home. Capillary blood glucose measures your blood glucose levels at the exact time of testing. Regular measurements of blood glucose allows a person with diabetes to make frequent adjustments to their diet, exercise levels and medications. SMBG helps inform the patient and doctor about how well the medication regimen is working and to detect worsening blood glucose control. It can tell you when your blood glucose is on target, high or low, so that you can render the appropriate treatment. Patients can get admitted to the hospital for high or low blood glucose. With regular checks, we can avoid unnecessary admissions. SMBG enables you to determine which food or diet is best for your control. This allows you to take ownership of your own health and understand the impact of specific behaviours on your health. The use of a glucometer to monitor your blood glucose is also less costly as compared to using other devices. This is a structured collection of measurements that aim to capture patterns of variation in your blood glucose levels throughout the day. In example 1, SMBG is done in pairs. SMBG done at bedtime is paired with the measurements of fasting blood glucose the following morning to assess your fasting high blood glucose levels. This information provides an indication 
of your basal insulin doses and if it is adequate for your body. Example 2. SMBG is also done in pet testing before and after a particular meal, example breakfast or lunch, to observe for any spikes in your glucose levels. You can use these information to make adjustments to your diet. This is an example of a full 7 point blood glucose profile. Blood glucose monitoring is performed before and after all meals and at bedtime for a full day for three consecutive days. For example, Wednesday to Friday, as shown in the table. In this five point profile, the post breakfast test may be omitted or combined with pre lunch test, and the post dinner and bedtime tests may be combined. This pattern may be appropriate if your evening meal is eaten close to bedtime. A multi-point blood glucose profile is obtained through staggered testing. This blood glucose profile example can be generated by performing pre and post meal blood glucose monitoring for each meal in turns over a fixed number of days. Another such monitoring available is flash glucose monitoring which uses a sensor inserted on the upper arm and a separate touchscreen reader device. This technology provides users with automated real-time measurements of their glucose level as they scan the sensor. Users will need to do a finger prick test when feeling hypoglycemic or when glucose levels are rapidly changing or when symptoms do not match with the readings. Continuous glucose monitoring works through a tiny sensor inserted under the skin of the abdomen. The sensor measures glucose levels taken from interstitial fluid instead of blood every few minutes on a continual basis. It is advisable to check capillary blood glucose level when the sensor readings are high and low. 